my little cherry blossoms and welcome back to Zoocraft. We are on episode three of this amazing journey. We have begun, ow, okay, that was a bit of a fall. My bad, my bad. We are on episode three and I'm super excited. You guys have been, again, giving me such a amazing welcome to the series and I appreciate you all so, so much for being here. If you are new to the channel, uh, please make sure to subscribe and I hope you have a good time hanging out with me. I, I really appreciate you guys all being here. It means a lot to me. So we built this habitat last video. It turned out really good. I did have some suggestions though from people and I wanted to implement them. So I thought we would go ahead and start off with that. <laughs> but first let's go ahead and talk to Jessa real quick and see if um, there's anything new going on. I'm just curious. Um, so let's go talk to her. Oh, her house is so cute. Hi Jessa. Hiya. I saw you begin building a wolf habitat. Great job. If you need to order any animals or supplies, feel free to come back and I can contact Lucy, our animal specialist. <gasps> we have an animal specialist? Okay, fancy. Thank you very much. <laughs> so a comment I got on the last episode uh, basically uh, suggested we put some dirt, dirt, oh, geez, I cannot talk. Some dirt, grass, stone kind of mixed throughout the bottom of the wolf habitat to kind of be more realistic, as well as add some of the dead leaves you might see uh, lying around on the ground. The only problem is we either need silk touch or a shear. I think we might need shears. Um, let's hope it's shears because that's a lot easier to obtain over silk touch. Um, but I thought that was a great idea. I thought that that would be so cute. They also had, oh, I'm sorry, little goat. Um, they also had the idea to add like a mushroom with logs on it and stuff. And I thought that would be absolutely adorable. So I thought might as well try it to spruce up the place a little bit. Okay, so we got some shears, which will be useful for other things anyway. I do hope that they work for this though, because I do really want the leaves to be down there. Let's see. Oh, yes, okay, awesome. They also suggested we add some short grass around and I thought that was a good idea too. So they kind of have like some greenery to hide in, some shrubbery. Um, let's try to find some more dead leaves, awesome. Great. I also want to get started on the path in this episode, so that should be a lot of fun too. Now, as for different types of dirts, we don't really have any right now, but I can add some sprinkled in stone. I do want to smelt the cobble though, so it's actual stone and not cobblestone. So let's go ahead and put it in the furnace. First, let's actually make some charcoal because I just realized we are out of coal. While that is smelting, we can actually go ahead and get started on the pathways since we have nothing else to do. And I thought about using some gravel since we did come across quite a bit of gravel. Sorry, I was putting my phone away after reading the comment. Um, we came across a lot of gravel down there and so we have even more. And if you look over here, she has gravel coming from her deal. Actually, no, <gasps> she has cobble. Wait, that's even easier to get. Okay, so we might do like a bit of both to kind of texture it a little bit, if that makes sense. I think that would be pretty. Okay, let's do that. Pathway's gonna be fairly rugged. I do wanna get some cobble slabs though to just make the hike up here a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and get some of those bad boys together. That sounds about good. I don't need any more than that. If we do, we can grab them. Oh wait, I forgot we can make stone paths, can't we? Yeah, okay, we could make these for the habitat as well. Awesome. I'm just gonna do it randomly because I kind of want it to seem like we just walked on the ground so much that it became a path, if that makes sense. And we might have added a little bit of help here and there where needed, kind of like a hiking trail. Because I want this to be a very animal friendly zoo. I want it to be more for the animals and less for the people. Go ahead and make this a little wider, just so they have more room. And then we're gonna make this quite a bit of the path just so that they can kind of go up to the glass, they can see the animals better, stuff like that. Add a little bit of gravel here and there. I think that actually will be really pretty texturing. Um, get rid of these two, just to add a little bit more of elevation quicker. Right there. I think this is gonna be so cute. Oops, my bad. Fear not, we have plenty of cobble. Hello, you are so adorable. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to place it there, buddy. Sorry for invading your personal space. <laughs> awesome, okay, so now we can just get started on having better steps. I think it actually would work better here. 
Awesome. We officially have a path to our first habitat from the cabin. I'm so excited. Okay, I do want to make it a little bit better along the way as well, though. And then I also want it to make it connect to the side path here. So we'll make this a more prominent like way to go. And then we will um, also have just like a little gravel leading over here. It will not be as pretty, but it definitely will be like, there is a thing over here. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. And I also wanted to put those there. And along the path, um, I'm going to put torches, even though I'm going to try and do lanterns. Oh, I totally forgot. Um, we added more mods into the game. So I added the um, a few more fish mod so that we'd have aquatic creatures in the game. I also added um, a fox mod to make sure that you guys got your foxes because I knew a lot of you guys really wanted foxes and I wanted foxes too. So I added a fox mod so that we definitely have foxes because we don't have regular Minecraft foxes in this version of Minecraft because I am playing 1.12.2. So I added them in through a mod. So yeah, <laughs> they're a little different than typical Minecraft foxes um, in the newer updates, but we do have foxes. Okay, I think it's time for us to start decorating the inside. I am going to try to grab I don't think you need anything special to grab mushrooms, but I'm kind of scared because I don't want to lose the little guys. Oh, we have leaves now. I forgot. You can shear them. <gasps> Ooh, that'll look pretty too. We'll do that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go over here to the side alley. Oh, there's a little beehive. Cute. I would not be saying that in real life. I, I'm not a big fan of bees, but I do love bees like for what they do for the environment. So I still protect bees. Don't worry, guys. Okay, so... Um, one of the suggestions was also to make like a little pond. And so I thought this like little corner would work perfectly since it's already kind of a hole in the back corner. So we just need to make a bucket, which we have iron at the house. If not, we have like so much iron just like down in the caves that we can sift through as well. Um, I do want to add some of these um, autumn leaves, some of this grass, um, short grass, stone paths, dead leaf piles. Um, and the mushrooms I would also like to add. So let's go ahead and kind of get decorating. So I think some stones over here would look cute. Oh, let's go get our smooth stone. We can mix it with a smooth stone. That would be really, really cute. Um, it is dark outside. Oh no! Wait, that means there's a wolf nearby. Where is the wolf? Guys, where'd, where'd, where'd the killer go? <laughs> we do need wolves for our habitat. I just like that they eat the little animals just with no mercy. And then they don't even eat the food. They just kill them. Oh gosh. What we're going to do probably when we have animals that eat other animals, uh, we'll definitely obviously feed them the nutrition they need through getting them those animals, but we will source it as humanely as possible. And we will like be as, uh, we'll, we'll give the animal a very nice life and we'll wait till they get older like they're going to pass away in like a year anyways type of type of like like a very wholesome farmer type of vibe <laughs> okay we got charcoal let's go ahead and put in the stone and we can get some smooth stone up in here oh we have plenty of iron awesome um so let's go ahead and after we just get a couple pieces we don't need a full 32 we'll probably only need like 10 pieces of smooth stone i'm feeling um and then we can smelt the iron um is there anything else? I think I might clear out my inventory a little bit just for stuff that I don't really need. I think that's about good. I think that's everything that I don't really need. Actually, I might need that. We'll get her some of this wood though. Keep some dirt on me. I think that's about good. I think this is just everything I need. Sounds good. Let's take a little nap real quick. I don't know if it speeds up smelting when you sleep. I don't remember if that's a thing in Minecraft. Let's hope though. Good morning, zoo crab. I got five pieces, so we're halfway there. And then we can start smelting our iron, but we can like go and continue um, decorating the habitat while we're smelting our iron. That is not a problem. Three more. I'm waiting patiently. Minecraft gods. Why should you not? <laughs> oh, right now, <laughs> I went over to my boyfriend's stream while we were waiting for the other three to smelt. We're good. Go check him out. Uh, the name is Tamakichi. He live streams uh, three days a week. Um, Tuesday... Thursday, Friday, and he's really funny. So go check him out. Okay. Oh wait, I was supposed to put the iron in before I headed over here. Put the iron in. I might as well use the rest if it, if it's already smelted. Um, and we'll let that smelt while we're gone. How's you guys' days going? I hope they're doing well. 
If not, I hope tomorrow's a lot better. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and kind of scatter some of this rock around. I'm also going to put it inside of the little cave to give them kind of almost better insulation, if that's a thing that stone can do. I feel like it's better than dirt, to be fair. Um, not sure about that though. Do that, and then we can like make the top of it stone, and then kind of make this like come out a little bit more. Let's add some dead leaves inside so it's like what they sleep on, and we can also grab, go ahead and add them around here as well. Add some grass, especially the short grass. I think the short grass makes a lot of sense being in here. We'll add a couple of stone path bits. This is so looking so cute. I'm so excited, guys. Um, let's make that a little bit more random than that because that looks like just like an L. Boop! There we go! Voila! Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of some of these flowers because I feel like if we're gonna do flowers, we should kind of theme them a little bit better. Let's add some of these leaves though. Let's kind of add like a couple around here, kind of like it's almost keeping them, keeping them cozy inside of their little caves. Oh, that looks so cute. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, by the way, if you guys want screenshots of these builds and stuff like that, and to be able to see better kind of angles and views of these builds, go check out my Instagram. It is at Izumi Builds. That is at I-Z-U-M-I-B-U-I-L-D-S. Wow, I actually said that correctly. I'm not good at spelling out loud. That was very, very impressive for me. Um, <laughs> Go ahead and go check that out if you're interested. Um, if not, no worries, but I do post over there um, builds from this and outside of this. So yeah, go check that out. The little pigs, you shall have a habitat very soon as well. Do not worry. It is looking so cute. I am very, very happy with how this is turning out. I'm so excited. Okay, let's put down these mushrooms and then we can go ahead and skedaddle and grab some water. Now, the mushrooms on the log idea was very, very smart. I have yet to find like the mushrooms that grow on like logs like that. Um, but as soon as I do find them, I will make sure to <laughs> implement that. Tons of iron, yes. Okay, let's go ahead and get this bucket. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and just make a couple. I feel like buckets will be very useful in this series. I feel like we'll be transporting a lot of water pretty frequently. So let's make six buckets. Hells yeah. Let's just go to the water behind our house. I feel like that's probably the closest water. Doop do do, doop do do. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. I am Jack and Jill. Plot twist. Okay, let's go fill up that little pond inside of their habitat. Now, as for what wolves eat, they eat um, larger animals like deer and stuff like that. So I probably will be feeding them deer and I probably will be just hand feeding them um, so that they're good with the, um, the um, exhibit viewers as well. They're not uh, fearful of animals. I'll probably hand raise them from when they're babies because I get to find many uh, uh, animals. Okay, is that? No, it's not. Is that flat? I think this is flat. This back corner I don't think is. Wait, no, it is. It's not pulling me anywhere. Awesome. There we go! Easy as that! Awesome! Okay, so I think we will need to talk to Jessa to contact Lucy. So I'm gonna drop off these buckets and then we will head right over there. Okay, we dropped off our buckets. Let's go ahead and talk to Jessa. Uh, Jessa, excuse me. Hey, um, do you think we could possibly order in some baby wolves for the habitat? Uh, sounds good. Come back in two days and Lucy will be here. It takes her a bit to import the animals safely to the zoo. She'll be happy to meet her for zookeeper. <gasps> Two days, that's, that's all it takes. Oh my God. Th thank you, thank you, Jessa. Uh, excited to meet Lucy. We're gonna be having baby wolves, I'm so excited. I hope they're babies. If, if we can't get baby wolves, it's okay. But I, I, I do hope they're baby wolves. That'd be, that'd be so adorable. And then we could like hand feed them so that they're very comfortable with humans. And so that, you know, they're, hopefully they'll be like not taken from their parents though. I hope, obviously. It seems like since they're an animal specialist, they understand the development of animals well. And um, it seems like Jessa wouldn't really work with someone that isn't good with animals. So um, I hope that, you know, it's a situation of, well, I don't hope this, but you know, I hope it's a situation of we're able to house them because they're not in a good house right now, if that makes sense. Like they're not at a zoo that's taking very good care of them right now and we're able to take them in instead. Um, or like their uh, mom passed away and so they need higher help than the average baby wolf does. Um, 
and stuff like that. So <laughs> I hope that's the case. And so we can just, you know, give them a better life here. And so they're not scared in the wilderness by themselves. And maybe one day we can release them to the wild if they are, you know, able to. But if not, uh, we will keep them in the zoo since they were raised in in an enclosed space and so you know we want to keep the animals safe let me know in the comments down below what you want the next habitat to be i'll probably do another poll on my discord server so i do recommend going to the description clicking on my link tree and then clicking the discord button and it'll take you directly there because i do pretty often uh polls for different series but recently it's been a lot of zoo craft because i really really enjoy doing this series and i like hearing you guys' opinions on what we should do i have a feeling the next one to win will probably be fox uh, but don't worry we'll be having basically an exhibit for every single animal that is able to get into minecraft because i really like doing this series it is so much fun it has been a complete blast Ah, uh, the next morning in this beautiful world. That means only one more day until we get those baby wolves in. And I am beyond excited. This all makes vegetables, which will be very handy for when we run out of our sandwiches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab those. Also, we could start like our own little garden. We could start uh, like a little blackberry garden. Um, really whatever food we Want. I'm also gonna grab some more of these because these are scattered in front of Jess's house And I think they would be cute to scatter around the whole path. I think that'd be really cute Also, I do want to connect the path with Jess's house path um, oh, There's so many of these this would probably be a good area for the foxes because it is the like actual habitat They spawn in in Minecraft if I'm not mistaken correct me in the comments if I'm wrong though um, I think that'd be really cute Awesome. I do think another like high vote will probably be pigs uh, because you guys really want curly fry back and so do I. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, I will probably be making that after foxes if all goes as planned. Um, if you guys vote for foxes, obviously. So go let me know, go let me know. Vote for whatever one you want because all the ones I put are ones I want. So don't worry about doing what you think I would like best. Do what you think you would like best. So. I think that'd be a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!